Every element in ARCHICAD has an ID. So for example, if I go to one of those doors, go to the settings, and down to the last tab here in the category and properties, we have an ID. The same goes with the objects, like this bed has an ID here at the bottom, and same with the wall. Same thing, we have an ID here. So let's choose ARCHICAD to show us the ID for the doors. But instead of selecting them all, I'm going to go here to Doors and then Control A if you're in a Windows or Command A if you're in a Mac. And like this, we select all the doors that we have visible on this plan. Then I'm going to go to the Settings, to the tab Dimension Marker, and change here from No Marker to D Marker 20. So the D Marker 20 is a standard marker here in ARCHICAD. Just going to go ahead and press OK, see how it looks. We're not going to see it now because we're using a drafting model view option. So just change here on the quick options to building plans. You can also change it here at the bottom to building plans. There we go. Now we can see that we have a door marker that doesn't look exactly how we would like. So again, I'm going to go to door, control A, control T, and let's do a little bit of editing. So. First thing, I don't want to see this extension line. I also want to reduce this distance one to two. So I have the name of the door very close to the door here. And then also you could change the marker shape to something like a rectangle or triangle or any other shape. I will change it to none. I just want the text. And then moving forward here on the options, I will switch off the dimensions. I don't really want to see the dimension right now. I just want to see the name. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and there we go. So we have the door ID displaying together with the door. So now let's play with the door. So now we could go ahead and select one by one and start changing their unique ID to the one that you prefer, or we can use something called ID Manager. So I'm going to first select all the doors again, and then go to Documents, listing extras, and then element ID manager. Here we can manage different ways to categorize some elements. So you have some presets here for how to change the ID of beams, how to change the ID of roof. But right now we want to change the ID of doors. So I'm going to go to doors and I'm going to change the ID based on two criteria, the width and the height of the door. So I'm going to select those two, press add, and I will remove this element ID from here. So basically what it means is that ARCHICAD will give a unique ID for every door that has the same width and height. But for that to happen, we need to change this unique ID for each element to set same ID by criteria. We can also change the ID format. So if we move here to this tab, we can choose to have a text, let's say D point, and then a counter but this counter should do with two counters only. And we're going to start with uh, number one. And we don't need those two first field here. Let's move it to not used. Great. Now we can go ahead and press change IDs. Then ARCHICAD is telling us we have four D1s, two D2s, and one of each of the rest. So let's press OK. And if we zoom in here, the entrance door is D4. This is a D1, D1. This is a D1. Let's move this text a little bit. Many D1s and so on. Now let's do the same for all the doors in the project. But to do that in a faster way, we go to the 3D window. Let's do a zoom extend here. And then I'm going to go to Doors, Control A or Command A. Then we have all the doors again. I'm going to set up first the doors to have the dimension marker 20. Let's change it to none. So we have the same settings as the doors in the ground floor. I don't want to see those dimensions. There we go. Press OK. And then go back to Document, Listing Extras, Element ID Manager. We still have the same setup as before. And then go to Change IDs. Now we have 10 doors of the D1, 3 of the D2, and so on. Press OK. And if we go back to the floor plan, we have the settings for drafting back. So let's change it to building elements. 
there we go we have now this entrance door is a d5 if we go to the basement we have a d2 here if we go to the first floor we have all doors displaying their ids just bear in mind that you can put together with the id some other information like what is the acoustic rating what is the fire rating or the u value for this door we don't need it right now so let's just keep it as it is and that's a faster way for you to organize the ID of all the objects that you have in ARCHICAD.